The battle of natural selection and unnatural selection of today is a major concern all over the globe due to genetic engineering. The world is unlocked by the power of CRISPR Cas9, an advanced technology in genetic engineering to help mankind in eliminating diseases, maximizing agricultural yield, and producing wonder drugs. Welcome to learn new things today. Well, we need to answer is CRISPR Cas9 good or evil? Are we allowing scientists to play as God? These are the questions you're in focus to answer it through the comments below after watching this video. But what is CRISPR-Cas9? This is the unique technology that enables geneticists and medical researchers to edit parts of the genome by removing, adding, or altering sections of the DNA sequence. It is currently the simplest, most versatile, and precise method of genetic manipulation and is therefore causing a buzz in the science world. The reason why the scientists who discovered and developed this genome editing were awarded as Nobel Prize in Chemistry, Emmanuel Charpentier and Jennifer Dutton. We know already that we can alter our DNA because scientists have been able to alter DNA since the 1970s. That is where GMO or genetically modified organisms have been practiced. However, in recent years, they have developed faster and that is hijacking genome editing. But what exactly is CRISPR and how does it work? CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Polyndromic Repeats. These repetitive DNA sequences called CRISPR were observed in bacteria with spacer DNA sequences in between the repeats that exactly match viral sequences. The CRISPR arrays allow the bacteria to remember the viruses or closely related ones. If the viruses attack again, the bacteria produce RNA segments from the CRISPR arrays to target the virus's DNA. The bacteria then use Cas9 or a similar enzyme to cut the DNA apart, which disables the virus. So, how does this discovery valuable to mankind? Well, scientists have also used CRISPR to detect specific targets, such as DNA from cancer-causing viruses and RNA from cancer cells. Most recently, CRISPR has been put to use as an experimental test to detect the novel coronavirus. Also, the edited cells could be used to test new therapies and discover which work at the molecular level. And the first experiments using CRISPR to edit human embryos was in 2015. Since then, a handful of teams around the world have begun to explore the process which aims to make precise edits to genes. However, such studies are still rare and are generally strictly regulated. Though this discovery is a powerful tool to help mankind, but this is also a cause of serious problems. From the side effects in the cells of human embryos, prompting them to discard large chunks of their genetic material, it leads to some giant businessmen to aim in controlling the use of this method, and only those who can afford individuals may avail the usefulness of this technology, and most likely, there will be a world of less diverse species living in according to the people who are opposing to the free use of this technology. So, are you happy to live in a less diverse world? If you learn new things today, drop your comments, like, and share this video.